Hi, Allimans 3000 x here and today I'm going to show you how to share your printer by using your desktop or laptop. But before we start, I'm going to show you how, how to set up your home group and, and right now I'm going to use my desktop so it's right here right in front of me so first you're going to start first of all let's just go to the control panel and find that says home group that is right here click that next create a home group and make sure the printer is already checked. Well, for me, I'm just gonna check the documents. Meanwhile, click next. And there you have it. Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to change this password, but uh, let's just skip that. Either. Okay, anything if it has problems with that if it's not if it's unavailable. Here's here's how here's how I'm gonna show you right now. You go on the way bottom, start the home crew twelve shooter, and this one will bring up your window. And then click next. This may take a while. You have two options to skip it to the next step or throw a shooter. And what I'm just gonna click on that, see if they have any problems. Yeah, this may take a while, I'll just skip that. Alright, since uh, there's no problem, so I'm just going to go ahead and click close. And there's a window where it will close automatically once this uh, dying acid is completed. Okay, well, next. If this the selection is already a fix, so I'm just going to click that. This may take a while. I'll just uh, I'll just skip that anyways. All right. As you can see, that's already checked. It's ready to go. And now hit the close button. And boom, there you have it. Uh, I'll just um, that, that'll make sure the the printer check it's already marked. Meanwhile, okay. Uh, close this one. Close this window. And next, go back to the same thing I showed you. Click start. Device and printers. And 
this may take a while though. I'll just skip that anyways. Alright. As you can see, there's um, Grinner's Effects that's already listed. And this is the printer I, I usually choose as a default. So I'll just go ahead and right click. Printer properties. Next. Click that says sharing tab. And then check. Check that says share this printer. Um, I don't know what that is but I'm going to leave it blank meanwhile. Then hit hit the OK or apply. I'm just gonna hit the OK button. And next, um, I'm gonna do the same thing, but because I'm gonna I'm gonna share these two printers, ones that are already shared. Next, I'm gonna do it again, the same thing. Printer properties, sharing tab. Check this is share this printer. And hit the OK button. And now, yes, you can see the. I'm just gonna zoom in a little bit. And you'll see the, the little icon that's that's uh, it's already shared. And I'll just zoom back. Next, uh, now all that we need to click that says add a printer. I'll just zoom in a little bit so you can see it. Right there. On the, on the very top left. Click that. And you'll, this will bring up your win the window. All you need is to click that says add a network wireless or Bluetooth. And there you have it. So it's just, just uh, need a make sure that's already listed okay next um, I'm gonna use my laptop that I'm gonna show you right now okay um, as you can see this is my laptop I'm gonna use it I'm gonna use right now so I'm gonna do the same thing as my my desktop go to start start menu control panel like I already showed you earlier ago next scroll down click home group first and this is my computer name that I already named alright next click us is join now the same as that you already created from the desktop or the laptop whatever Join now, click that. Next, make sure all these ones check, but I'm just gonna ch check the documents meanwhile. Click next and then enter your current password that you already created. First of all, I'm just gonna skip that this part. And there you have it. You have joined the group home group, I'm sorry. So once you already uh, uh, create your home group, now you can access any files like files and printers, share other people on the, in the home group. Click finish that uh, you already created. Next, uh, if you have the printer already installed, it says home group found a shared printer on your home network inst installing will make available to anyone to on this computer okay so if this message appears click that says install printer and this one will bring up the secure so I'll just uh, check that so it doesn't show this mes message again next click that says install driver and this may take a while. Okay. Now it's ready to go. And close this window. Next, I'm going to test the the share printer. I already I already did. And I'm going to put test. 
Let's see if it works. I'm gonna go to the file, print, and you'll see the list that's already shared. So I'm just gonna click this one, and once I choose this one, hit the print, and uh, it'll print up your paper. So I'm gonna show you, uh, and I'm gonna test it out. And there you have it. But uh, unfortunately, I put the smaller letters because I don't want to waste all my ink. So this is the this is the test page I already created. And okay, so now now you know how to create the 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 home group and the sharing printers. Anything I already show you? And do you have any questions? Anything about this video I already show you? Go ahead and. Leave your comments below if you can. All video response. And don't forget to rate if you ever liked it. So that's it. Again, username, all events 3000x. Until next time. Peace.